What's up, guys? B Double again. Android Happens TV. And what we got for you now is a walkthrough of the Evo 3D Ice Cream Sandwich Sense 3.6 build with a bonus how to make it look stock ish. So, here we go. We're running Clean ROM right now, the Ice Cream Sandwich one. I find it's the most stable. Probably because it's the least feature packed. So let's go ahead and unlock. And I have not programmed face lock unlock yet, but it does work. I would have to pick up the phone. It's really hard to uh, film that. So this is Sense 3.6. Let's go ahead and hit the settings first off. About phone. I'm going to go software. And let's see if I can't. Zoom in a little bit for you. Android version 4.0.3, 3.6 cents, Clean ROM ICS Edition Beta 1. And I'm running the kernel that came with that. No firmware flashed for this. I am not running Virgin Mobile Firmware. I am not. However, even though I'm not, I am suffering the 1x a lot here and there. So I'm wondering if it's just the ice cream sandwich ROMs themselves made for Virgin. They're probably slowing them down. Um, so, we don't have a Sense 4.0 widget. There are some skins available. I don't know which ones came with this. Let's go ahead and check. This is your personalized menu have three tabs at the bottom that kind of annoys me it's an extra click so let's check what skins came with the ROM just the standard three there is a sense 4.0 out there skin and a ROM as a matter of fact however it's a little too buggy for me it's just a lot of little tiny bugs and annoying stuff uh, you know I like I like my shit to be really nice so we do have a pretty good app drawer, still just like the old Sense 3.0, paginated. In the Sense 4.0, they went with a side swipe with no widgets involved. Now, the dialer, we have pretty standard for HTC, a lot of white message they changed that to a gray background with white boards for messages and stuff so camera as you can see does work fully video camera works what else? There's all the widgets that come with Sense, usually. We're going to go ahead and hit up Sense Music. You get your standard standards. Of course, it's making me... I don't have Sense as a default. So it's not going to let me. I don't know why Sense wants to lock down their widgets. HTC Music. I'm going to select. So you get your full page music. You get your friend stream. Agenda. All the standard stuff. It's, it's pretty much Sense 3.0 with a different settings menu and a five icon dock that's pretty much it oh look, we got some agendas um, that are stacking up so the next part that I wanted to show you guys was how I run it so we're gonna go ahead and clear the default 
for since. Wrong one. There it is. So, as you can see, TSF shell doesn't seem to be working with the Sense 4.0 build. Um, but this, it, it is. Uh, I do have it on here. That's not what I'm running. I'm using Nova Launcher. I have the Prime add-on. Let's go ahead and make that our default. And we're going to go ahead and do a live wallpaper. Such as bubbles. So Nova Launcher gives you a lot of options for transitions, especially with Prime. Um, it will give you the ice cream sandwich. Now you have to be rooted or be able to install this as a system app to get the widgets in the drawer to work. So it does have that. Of course, you are still stuck with the HTC applications. Now, a trick that I have, which I showed in an earlier video, was how to get the stock-ish browser. There is an app in the market called ICS Browser Plus, and that's what I'm running. You'll find in this uh, ice cream sandwich sense, they seem to have taken the ability to let's say this, they've hidden the ability to undo their own internet browser as the default. So what you have to do is you go in your system settings and you go to app associations and you're going to hit the web URLs. See, look at that, it's set at internet. So let's change that to ICS Browser Plus. Now when we hit a link from anywhere, it'll go through ICS Browser Plus instead of the internet because HTC fucks up the stock browser for Android with whatever they do to it. Now for those other, you all, everybody wants to know what, what are you running, what's that widget? This is HD widgets. It is coming with an update soon. It's supposed to be really fantastic. Um, you can click on the weather and get a pretty good little thing here. You can pull up to see the refresh. And, um, my widgets that I'm using are the AD APW widgets. Um, this one over here links up with my G Reader. And this is the timeline, which gives me my Twitter and Facebook and these are highly skinnable lots of themes for it lots of settings so you're gonna to wanna to pick that one up if you're trying to go stock now another thing that I do is with Nova Launcher and Apex Launcher which are both stock 4.0 launchers um, you do have the ability to change icons so you hold on an icon and it brings up the little menu. You hit edit, tap the icon, and if you install an icon pack or an ADW theme on your phone, even though you don't have ADW launcher, it'll recognize it as a ADW icon pack and then you can change your icons, which is how I was able to get the ice cream sandwich icons for the camera and the gallery and all the dock stuff. So, this is a little quick walkthrough. Show you guys what's going on. Here's the pull down, quick settings. It's got an extended, the uh, stock version, the base that these came off of it only had, it filled up one page. It's got this Wi Fi thing so you can get in there, a link to settings. So yeah, it's pretty much since 3.0 with a couple of enhancements. Um, I really like since 4.0, but I think I'm done with since. Yeah, I think I'm going Samsung or Galaxy, which is the same thing now.
pretty much, until Motorola gets kicking. So, I'm out later.